this is by Sheena. She says you had highlighted the importance of thinking out of box. What kind of research should be done for making out of box ideas successful in a case where there are no previous precedents? Well, thinking out of the box is what? Thinking innovatively. One must think deep. One must think hard. You will get newer ideas. That's why, you know, I gave you the example of uh, Sri Parasaran. 50 different constitutions. Once he uh, completes it, he leaves it. He takes the next one, looks at the article. Every time you look at the article, Article 19, let me give you an illustration. Article 19, right. oh, sorry, Article 14 is discrimination. If you look at the judgments, Article 14 merely says that one person will not be uh, discriminated against the other person or the state will not discriminate between two different, I mean, two persons who are equally stationed. Supreme Court dilated on that, if you remember. It said arbitrariness is a part of Article 14. Unreasonableness is a part of Article 14. This is again thinking out of the box. Why? This was done to ensure that sucker is given to a litigant. Many a times, the judges also think out of box. After all, if you look at the judgments, there are innovations. There are leapfrogging of uh, the thinking process, which is evident when a brilliant judge is there as against a state judge. So this is what you must do. This thinking out of box is something which you will have to adopt and evolve. It is only by practice that you will, you know, uh, 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 start uh, uh, imbuing that uh, process or uh, that character. I'm sure if one thinks deeply, one would be able to think out of the box. After all, when clients come, they'll have different things. They'll have different problems. Now, when you want to reach Delhi, you can reach Delhi through Nagpur. You can reach Delhi through Bombay. You can reach Delhi to Calcutta. If you think that there are certain hurdles by going straight to Delhi, you can go via Calcutta. Thinking out of box is that, trying to be more innovative. After all, innovation is a part of every lawyer's life. When you have a formidable opponent against you, you always think and think as to how to beat him out. After all, I've always said this also. It's like a chess game. When you have litigation, it's like a chess game. How do you play chess? You always think. And, you know, you think at least, you know, uh, 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 five or six moves ahead. How do you do that? Again, you know, thinking out of the box is needed. These are things in which you, once you evolve yourself, I mean, adopt yourself, I mean, adopt this methodology, you become a past master in it.